Good weekend everybody and welcome back to my channel. Hope you guys had a great week. So I'd like to welcome my new subscribers, my returning subscribers, and anyone new who may be watching this video. So we're going to be doing another uh, channeled messages from your past on loved ones. So the first pile is the rose quartz. Second pile is the angel aura. And third pile is the opalite. So whenever you're ready, the timestamps will be in the description below. Thanks. Welcome everybody who picked pile number one with the rose quartz. So this person that had passed away, I feel that this is a male. This could have been somebody's husband. This is someone that you really trusted a lot and they really trusted you. They always gave you gifts either like flowers, especially red flowers they like to give you. They want you to know that you can breathe a little bit, that they're always near you and you need to trust that they are always by your side. Like they're always, don't ever think that they're missing out on everything that's going on in your life because they are there watching everything at any given time. They want you to find a way to bring harmony back into your life. Just take the first step here. You guys may have had geraniums or something in your house or by your house as well. They want you to focus on the positive. You know that there are many in your life that you can be thankful for. And they want you to be creative and look for ways to build, grow and manifest things. So maybe you've been manifesting something in your life and they want you to trust this process, process that they are going to help you get what you want in your life. So the number 29, 42, or the number 36 could be a significance to you. They could have been in that age group when they had passed away. So let's see what other cards come up here. So we have the number 9. So this means that you're kind of very guarded right now. You're just observing things and watching things as after they're passing. You just, you can't really give yourself a lot of yourself as you're still hurting. You don't want anyone too close to you. So we have the number nine again with the nine of cups here. So this is saying that something that you're wanting is going to be manifesting for you. The person had passed away is definitely going to bring this to you. Keep talking to them as they're going to bring you something. And then we have the number one. And this is the Ace of Pentacles. So this could be something to do with either like a life insurance or wills or something to do with a document signing that this is going to be given to you. Maybe you've been waiting for this uh, to come. I believe it's just going to be a little bit of patience here before you receive this. But they are definitely looking out for you for your best interest. They want you to breathe and relax. That Everything is going to work out. Trust everything will work out. So we have the number one again here. Awareness. So they want you to be aware of everything that surrounds you. Look for signs, any symbols, clouds, feathers. They just want you to know that they are guiding you on your path here. And they do miss you a lot and they really want the best for you in life still even though that they're gone. So we have the number nine again, material harvest. The number nine could be a big significance to you guys here. This is something, maybe they could have been born on the 9th or passed away in September or something, but 9 is of significance, so they could have been born on the 29th. So this is just letting you know that a material harvest is coming to you. Some financial abundance is going to be coming into your life, and they want you to be aware of that. So we have the number 16, patience. So just be patient right now as they're wanting to tell you that it will happen, but just give it time. And we also have the number 33, Door to Romance. 
So some of you, they also may be guiding you into a new relationship here. Because maybe they want you to be open to having another person in your life because they don't want you to see you alone. You may not be ready for that right now, but in a couple months, a year or so, they're going to start sending you people in your life that are going to be making you feel good about yourself again and bring that smile back to your face because that's what they want. We have bless the number 22. So like I said, there are some blessings coming in your life here. They're going to bless you with so many things because I feel that you bless them with your presence in their life while they were here. So they want to give you everything they can. Even after they're gone, they want to help you. So we have the number 38, to be fair. They want things to be fair for you. They're going to make sure everything works out and balances itself out for you. So if you're not in a good place right now, they want to make sure that you're going to be well taken care of here. So I'm going to be pulling some messages here, some channeled messages. And then maybe we can get some initials as well. Okay, so we have the letter B. We have the letter J. T. D. W. Then we have the letter N and we have U. So there, there may be some initials there that may come through for you that remind you of the person that had passed away. I was born in October. So they may have been born in the month of October or they could have passed away in October or your birthday could be in October. They're just letting you know. You always made me smile. This person, you always made them so happy in life. I love fresh lilacs in the springtime. So maybe this person really liked flowers when it was springtime, the smell of them. You were my inspiration in life. You inspired them so much and you made them absolutely so happy. My name started with the letter A. So they, their name may have started with an A as well. So this is what they're, the messages that they are sending to you. So if you do like my reading, please do like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you for watching. Welcome everybody who picked pile number two with the Angel Aura Stone. So I feel the people that are coming through, one of them could have been um, a lady. It could have been somebody's mother that had passed away. And she wants you to know that she's very proud of you. And she wants you to celebrate everything that you've achieved in your life so far. And she wants you to know that she's beyond proud of you and she couldn't be happier for you. You may see peacocks too. A lot of peacock signs or something that maybe she liked peacocks or she were, you were just maybe like a really brightness in her life. And she wants you to know that. And also have a male that had passed away too. He was a very grounded person as well. I feel he could have been in his 40s. He was always willing to stand up for you and know what is right. He, he's a he was a really good friend to have as he always protected you and always wanted you to be safe and happy and make sure you stand your ground to what you believe in as well. But I feel that there's going to be a lot of new beginnings here. There's going to be a lot of changes coming in your life. But they want you to know to have courage and faith. Because right now, maybe you're getting nudged to go in a new direction in your life. Maybe a new job, maybe moving to a new city. But something is pushing you to make this change in your life. So they want you to know that we rejoice when you find love. Love comes in unexpected ways. So maybe new love may be coming for some of you. 
maybe uh, through uh, adopting an animal or maybe a new relationship or maybe some new friendships as well may be coming in. So the number 24 may be a significance to you. It says changes can bring you, bring you new life and energy will unfold. We will hold your hand. So yeah, I believe that a lot of you are going to be going through a lot of changes here. And just let you know that they're always with you here. So don't ever think that they're there with you every step of the way. They want you to know to just give yourself time to be kind to yourself and heal in, a, in your own way. You don't need to... Grieving is a, is a process that everyone deals with differently here. So just take your time if you need more time. Don't let anyone rush you to say, well, you should be doing this. You should have forgotten about them. This, just don't listen to anybody. Take the time that you need to heal for yourself. So the number 37 could be a significance to you and the number 25. So we're going to see what other cards we have here. So we have the number 8 with the Eight of Cups. And it says it just feels like you feel like walking away from a situation here. Maybe there's something in your life or maybe people are just not being very nice to you right now in your life after everything that has happened. But just be strong. They just want you to know that you that they're always with you here. We have the number nine, the nine of swords. You have a lot on your mind here. You know, since this person had passed away, you know, maybe it wasn't their time. Maybe you just feel that they were just too young. And maybe you just didn't begin to spend enough time with them. And then we have the number six. So this person may have been born on the 6th, uh, the number 9 could be a significance, or the number 8. But this person maybe could have been someone from your past as well that had passed away and maybe you were not in touch with them and maybe you just found out that maybe they had passed away. Or maybe there's something from your past that you can't get over well with their passing. But just take time that you need for yourself, don't rush things. So we have the number nine, fulfillment and wishes. So there's something here in your life that you've been wishing for and they're just letting you know that this is going to happen for you. So just keep praying and talking to them because they're going to help you with this. So we have number one, prosperity. So there's going to be a lot more happiness coming into your life in the next couple months. I feel that maybe you're just kind of stuck in a rut right now, but don't worry, things are going to start looking better. Things are going to start manifesting in your life. Things are going to start to happen. So we have the number 52, Goddess of the Moon. You're having a lot of mixed emotions right now in your life with everything that has happened in your life. But just clear your mind, maybe meditate, and they will bring you some answers that you need to what you need to do with your life. So we have Number three, blossoming abundance. I feel that this pile is definitely, there's a lot of happiness going to be coming to you. Something that you've been waiting for as well. It's the same for the first pile. I feel that your family members who have passed are going to bless you in many ways. So we have the number 27. So the number 27 could be a significance to you. They may have passed on the 27th or their birthday was on the 27th. But they always like to give a lot of gifts. Maybe their favorite color was pink. They could have had a cat as well. Maybe they like to dance. Maybe they like to watch ballet. So then we have the number 10, unfinished symphony. So this is, maybe this was unfinished business that you had with them and maybe this is what's not sitting well with you. Maybe you didn't get to say what you needed to say to them before they died. So maybe this is something that needs to be healed in your life. So I'm just going to pull some channeled messages here. And then we're going to pull some initials as well to see we can see. So we have 
you were always you always made me smile this person always made you smile or you made them smile all the time I love cheesecake maybe this person really liked cheesecake when they heard that maybe that was their favorite dessert I lived a great life they just wanted to let you know they lived a great life while they were here they don't want you to worry about them I love the, to barbecue outside with the family. Maybe they really liked barbecuing with you guys. You guys used to get together and barbecue a lot. My name started with the letter A. So maybe you want to, uh, their, letter, sorry, their name could have started with an A. So we have the letter E, the letter T. We have the letter H. We have the letter Q. And we have the letter F. So they, those uh, initials may be a significance. If they're not, that's okay. That message was not for you. So if you do like my reading, please do like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you for watching. Welcome everybody who picked pile number three with the opalite stone. So we're gonna see what channel messages are gonna come through from your past on loved ones here. I definitely feel that this was a female that had passed away. I feel that you're going through a lot of photo albums and looking at her pictures to remember all the memories that you had of her. These memories are very cherished to you. And they want you to remember all the happier times that you had with them. They want you to know, we understand that sometimes you may feel alone, but we are always there. They want you to know that you're o they're always there with you. They may have went, you guys may have went on vacation together. The number 12 could be a significance too. They want you to find your center again to make sure that you stabilize yourself after their passing. Because they feel that you're all, all over the place with their passing and they need you to focus yourself, center yourself again. For some of you, this may have been a child that had passed away. Or this is someone's parent and they left children behind. And then they just said the love between a parent and a child is one of the most precious and deep connections we make during our life here on earth. This person may have liked monkeys as well. It says, let us hug you, close your eyes, and as we hold you close, they want you to know they're always close to you. They always want to give you a hug. It says, focus your mind on what you really want. We are here helping you. Just focus on what you really want in your life right now, they're saying, because they want to help you. You may feel like very alone right now, like they said, but they want you to know that they're always near and close by. So we have the number one here. So there's some type of news coming in. They're gonna uh, relay a message to you of some kind. Some good news is supposed to be coming to you. Yeah, like I, with this page of cups here, I feel that they're supposed to be bringing you some good news. It may take a little bit to get the news, but it's coming. There's something coming for you. They want you to know. So we have the number five. There's, there could have been a lot of fighting going on here. It could have been over a will or financial stuff in your life. Maybe they had passed away. This could have been someone's mother as well that had passed away. And you're just dealing with all the assets and stuff right now. But there's been a lot of fighting going on after this person had passed away. So we have the number 14, Caring Connections. I feel that there's a lot of love around you right now. After this person had passed away, there's a lot of person, there's a person in your life that is really caring and is helping you through a lot of hard times right now in your life. And they are happy that, you're, that you have this in your life. They, they don't want you to ever feel alone. We have the number 16, patience. They want you to be patient and just heal on your own time. It may take a little bit while to let things settle in after they're passing still. 
but they just you can look at the p pictures and memories of them and always hold them close because they're always wanting you close to them because they want to hug you still so we have the number 25 round and round so maybe this is an event in your mind that you keep playing over and over maybe if i did things differently maybe they would still be here but that's not the way it works you know sometimes when our time is up it, it's hard to accept that sometimes and they don't want you to be playing it over and over in your mind they don't want you to blame yourself at all so we have the number 38 to be fair they want you wanted things to be fair in life for them and somehow maybe things weren't always fair between you guys and maybe that's why you have some regrets now on looking back on her memories. You guys really cared for each other though. But maybe some things were not always that great between you. Between you guys. So we have the number five, the throat chakra. So there are so many things that you wish you would have communicated with the person that had passed away. Things you could have said or would have said, but you just didn't get a chance to say them. So we have the number four firm foundation. There might be some a lot of obstacles in your life right now after they're passing, but they don't want you to stop. They want you to keep moving forward because they're always behind you. They're always supporting you. Like they said, what you really want, we are helping you. Just let them know, talk to them because they are always listening for you. So I'm going to be pulling some channeled messages here. So we have, I made a lot of money for my job. So maybe maybe when this person was uh, alive, they made a lot of money. They, they had a really good job. I used to own a pet snake. So maybe this person or someone in the family had a pet snake and they're just making you aware. I was born in, Dece in October. So I also said December. So maybe this person was also born in December. I love summertime. This person actually loved the outdoors and loved being outside during the summertime. They really loved that. I was born in January. So this person could have been born in January as well. I love fresh lilacs in the springtime. So they maybe really like the smell of lilacs when they started to bloom in the spring. So I'm going to get uh, some initials here as well. So we have the number N, G, U, have another G, we have the letter M, the letter B, the letter D, and H. So if any of these initials resonate with you, if they don't, that's, a, that's okay as well. So this is all the messages I have for you today. If you do like my reading, please do like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you for watching.